thought I'd share with you real quick is uh, refrigerator pickles. How I like to make a quick, easy pickle. Um, they don't take very long to actually make, and in three days we'll have some excellent tasting pickles. There's a lot of ways you can make pickles. Um, we're going to use all the ingredients from our uh, vegetable garden. I um, mean, you can ferment uh, fermented pickles or even uh, canning or processing t uh, pickles. But this is a simple way. You can use any jar and there's no special equipment whatsoever needed to make refrigerator pickles, which we are going to make today. Alright, so the first thing we got to do is to get out of the garden. We're going to pick our cucumbers that we got on the vine. We've got quite a few growing this year. That was the goal and plan, so we can make a lot of different kinds of pickles. And uh, also we're going to pick some of this fresh dill we got growing, um, so we can use that in making our homemade refrigerator pickles. Alright, so the next thing to do is uh, make sure you get them all washed very well and cleaned. Um, I like to take the stems off and the blossom ends, make sure they're nice and clean and wash them well. As you can see we have all shapes and sizes of cucumbers here. Um, some of them are bigger. This one here, if you look at it, it's kind of turning white or yellowish towards the end. This one's not the best ideal for making uh, pickles but it's still most definitely edible. I would recommend using a, uh, a uh, firm, fresh pickle uh, cucumber right out of the garden to make your pickles with. And uh, that is what we're going to do here. I'm going to uh, spear most of these, make spears, pickle spears. You can slice them or even leave some of the smaller ones whole and they will do just fine as well. So there's only really a couple of ingredients you really need to make refrigerator pickles. One is vinegar, water, and uh, salt. I have a Himalayan pink salt that I've finely ground earlier. I like to use this salt. And you can use really any vinegar. You can use your apple cider vinegar. I have a raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar that which I really like to use for this purpose. You can use a white vinegar or regular apple cider vinegar or even a uh, champagne vinegar. Uh, white wine vinegar. There's all kinds of vinegars out there. So choose a vinegar, make different kinds, and see which one you really prefer. And then it's up to you as far as ingredients. We're going to use from, we're going to make some dill refrigerator pickles. So we got some fresh dill from the garden. Uh, a little spice. We can use red pepper flakes. Uh, some people recommend dill seed if you want a little more dill flavor. And uh, some use a uh, pickling spice as well. If you want them sweet, you can add sugar or anything else like that. So there's really infinite possibilities as to flavor combinations for our um, pickles that we're going to make. Let me show you real quick how I do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is let's get our, our water and our apple cider vinegar, and we're going to bring it to a boil. And we'll just let that come to a boil and add our salt. Next thing to do is get our uh, spices and flavorings into the uh, jar in the bottom before we add our uh, cucumbers. So I'm going to add my uh, dill. I'll just break off as much as you want. I like to add quite a bit of this. You need a good amount. There's no right amount to add necessarily. And we'll put that in the jar on the bottom. We'll add a few of these red pepper flakes as well to the bottom. And I'm going to add a little bit of dill seed today. And then, of course, our garlic that we've also grown from our garden. I'll just crush this and add that. So I just have our garlic here uh, just lightly crushed, and I'll add that to the bottom of the jar. And the next step really is all you got to do is. Uh, Put your cucumbers in any way you want. Try to make them look nice. I got a nice big jar here because I want to fill this up. I got quite a bit of cucumbers I want to make. And turn them into nice, good tasting pickles here. The best way to do this is turn the jar on the side and you can just lay them in until you get them how you want. All right, so as you can see, we got our water vinegar mixture. It's come to a boil, and next we'll add our uh, salt. Turn off the heat. 
and we'll make sure we stir that in really well until it's all dissolved. All right, so I got my uh, cucumbers packed nice and tight in our jar, as you can see, and I added a little bit more spices. I left one small one up here and whole. I like to cut them that it makes the uh, vinegar uh, seep through the uh, cucumbers much faster than if you leave them whole. It'll take a little bit longer for the uh, skins to, um, uh, for the vinegar to penetrate through the skin if you leave them completely whole. So some of these I just cut in half in this one as you can see here. And all you gotta do now is fill your jars up with the uh, vinegar, hot vinegar mixture that we just did. and that is all there is to it you know leave a little bit of room up top maybe about an inch space and uh, let these cool down to room temperature before you put them in your refrigerator and then we'll just uh, screw the lids on and it's that simple to make a uh, refrigerator pickles so we'll let these uh, set for uh, three days in the refrigerator. Make sure you do refrigerate these. These must be refrigerated. These are not uh, shelf stable as these are a quick made refrigerator pickle. These are not a processed or a canned pickle um, or fermented pickle. So these must stay in the refrigerator or they will go bad. So uh, let this cool down to room temperature and then we'll stick them in the refrigerator. And wait three days and we'll have us some delicious pickles. So what I'll do is I just wrote the date that I um, made them. Wait three days and then they're ready to go. Um, you're gonna ask how long this will last in the refrigerator. For us, they won't last that long. Uh, we'll eat these in a couple of weeks. Um, you could probably get away with a month or two, but the longer they set in here in this brine, they will get a stronger flavor and even get mushy the longer they go. This is not ideal uh, way to uh, take your store your pickles if you are looking for a long term storage solution for making pickles I would recommend uh, processing or canning or some other means refrigerator pickles or for a short term quick uh, way to make uh, pickles versus other options all right, so as you can see, it's quite simple to actually make uh, refrigerator pickles. You can do this just not with cucumbers. You could do it with uh, cauliflower, carrots, uh, green beans, uh, okra. There's a wide variety, any vegetables. You want to do some pickled vegetables of any kind, you could do that. And you can always change or add spices of any kind of flavorings that you want for those uh, particular vegetables that you want to pickle. So uh, as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. Uh, so make it a great day.